sometimes, you know, a, 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 a racist clock is right twice a day, you know? <laughs> a racist clock is funny twice a day. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. A racist clock is funny two All times All right, a day. I need to get a picture of the kid from Bully. I want to make a kid from Bully. Wow, I typed in Bully and I'm a, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> She needs to look more pissed off. There's another lake on my island. I'm just running into lakes thinking that they're the ocean. It's pretty annoying. We're all pissed off with my kids. In the face of the yellows. Holy god. I mean, if it's a good character, um, you know. Maker. Shaved. You should be able to make him look pissed off. Doesn't he have a little something on his eyebrow? Cut? I think he does, yeah. It's so funny that that never went out of style. Not even for a fucking second. It's so cool. I, don't I know love why that. It's cool. I love it. Cause it, it it's like a it's like a um if you've ever seen somebody with a scar there. It just looks neat. Good. It's actually the reason I grew my eyebrows out, but I don't think I have enough room. Um, my eyebrows are kind of sparse. Ooh. Oh, it shows it shows little uh, little dollops, but you put it on, and it's like oh, it's just normal fucking eyebrows. I wanted to walk me in the gob. It's all I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't look like me enough. First of all, he doesn't look European enough. Yeah, he's really dark complected. He looks like a black kid. He's got fuller lips. An upturned nose. He looks like a black kid. Beep, beep. Alright. Beep, beep. Bert, beep. Bird, beep, beep, bird man. I want to punch this guy in the face. Look at him. It's his hair. Ooh, his, I want to punch oh, it's his man. eyebrows. He's got that uh, that carrot top eyebrow lift. Ooh, I want to hit him so bad. Ooh, I just want to hit him in the face. Ooh, I just want to whop him in the gob. I want to take care of his face. I want to take oh, care of his asshole. business. Look at this asshole. Such an asshole. <laughs> Other. I love good black hair, I'm gonna say it. Mm-mm. You'll do like 20 hairs for the girls. Fucking 20 hairs. Well, not even really nearly as many for the boys, but as soon as they get to the black hair, it's like unisex. Like, not all girls throw out. <laughs> Can we get some long braids with like, I don't know. Hey, this is a magic like long highlight or something? Somewhere to find them here, okay. Hmm? It's a magic dick somewhere to find it. Right I was gonna say he looked like um one of those real estate agents from like LA or some shit. Ew! That is a dickhead haircut. That's a rich bitch haircut. Oh never mind. It's got a bun. Oh okay. Give me a damn noodle before it kills us all. It'll kill us all. I smell all your holes. <laughs> you know what? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am, and that was quite something. It sounds way too nice. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. They all sound like they're. I am indeed a student, like but I could very parts. well be able to help no, you. What's the kid's name from Bowling? 
Buck Flanagan? <laughs> Jimmy Hopkins. Well, if people start identifying as a witch, they can start using the witch's bathroom and start raping witches. <gasps> How does that happen? I mean, they like to just make it up. They love it. Apparently, it's a fucking lawless world that doesn't happen, right? It appears no, we're yeah, one ready to depart. Another, it runs really well. Shit. It's a pity Not we didn't that, have a bit like, more time know, to spend really on spell casting. I presume you've like, been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. <laughs> I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly I've just never, to a second hand You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. You know, long enough to Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. It's a little more than just saying you're a girl. It's a lot more than <laughs> just saying you're a girl. George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not either. thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. A cute owl, though. <laughs> though I confess owl. I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. Owl, <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fatigues in the West yeah. End. Because <laughs> it's been much too so long. Cute. When I received I your owl, like, I must say oh I God, best not speak here, like, it Eleazar. Magic mail, of course. Why don't you speak on to Hogwarts? We have Owl. a start of term <laughs> feast and a sorting <laughs> ceremony Plow. to get to. Plow. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would, would be good to no. see the old pile of rocks. Starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to oh, Hogwarts. Okay, so you are new to the school. You're oh, just starting have I? Fifth year for some reason. Of course, as the I other fifth years hard. will have been honing their magical skills for four years here, now, the right. headmaster asked if I could get our new student oh, up to speed a bit before the term begins. Old. Well, so you cool. couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Does he have the right credits, Professor though, Fig is not only an exceptional why? teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Yeah. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Yes, what seen was that? What? <laughs> His wrist I have was so scared. Opinions on a differ fucking servo. How great a threat my mock really is. Have you seen is. this? No, an instant well, servo. Well, they don't get to convince that that my go, colleagues that the ministry. Whoa, the dragon? I don't a see shit. It was a dragon in the clouds. Really and wow. hard to see. It was your wife, <laughs> Eliazar, who, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she oh, died. Okay. Wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I... ...received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's I that? I love glow? goblin metal. I don't see a glow. 
Nor do I. Uh, I see some people don't see. I've seen a lot of things people don't see. Merlin's oh, beard! Uh, how did you- Wait! We do not Hey, is Merlin? Is Merlin the new character? Why not? <laughs> Why the fuck not? I have to be Zim the key to themselves. Isn't there a lifting spell or whatever? Like a... I mean, if if magic was real, there would be no conflict, there would be no story. Are you alright? You're hurt. Uh oh, my health is Perhaps really a bit. Yeah, Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. <laughs> Thanks for sending a link, dickhead. <laughs> Yeah. 
I don't know where she came into possession of the book key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Supposedly the logo on the soccer ball is championship. People are like, look at that logo. That logo is sus. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to That is a little weird. The square? Yeah, looks like it was punched out. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what. Why such powerful magic <laughs> I mean, disappeared funny. from the wizarding world? Don't Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Also, a soccer ball with dumbass here. Is that ice? It it's not big? cold enough here. It yeah, appears to be a sort of way. enchantment. <laughs> right? <laughs> Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent. The performance is better because of the anti-piracy shit. Awesome. So anti-piracy shit costs a lot of money and it makes the performance shit. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I wish that we told people that. Like, people are like, mm, I found better because insert innocuous fucking reason here. So why wouldn't we tell people like, hey, this really innocuous reason that you shouldn't play this game is that fuck was a bit like, rougher than I expected. It. it works better. <laughs> Your one works improving yeah, with that's every why I cast. Always fucking pirate the Sims. Thank you, sir. You fucking spend two thousand dollars on DLCs and tax and shit. Hell no. Ah, well, up there. We're close around. now, okay. it's just ahead. <laughs> Is there a game where if you do your friendly fire enough, they just turn on you, shoot you? Half life? Steady yourself! Nice. What the hell are you doing, Lord? Reparo! Reparo! I was just about to say that. <laughs> Reparo can fix literally any yeah, conflict. Walk around. Repero, look, our friends can find, but you can't just keep running around using Repero on our friends. Repero, and then they just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Bird. Almost there! Repero! I'm a curse. <laughs> Repero! <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. I've always admired the British. I've always admired the British. Like why? Who admires the British? Why? Whatever. I met I met one English dude. Well, he was actually I think he was Irish. I don't know if Irish people are English or if Irish people are British. It's all the fucking same shit. Um, he was a Professor, fucking tool. This statue. This may have been his home. It was whenever me and Savannah went to that one bar, Ramshacklers or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't remember what the fuck it was called. Grimblestone. It's a really nice <laughs> bar though because the bar faces the patio. So you can be sitting on the patio and you can order drinks from the patio, which I thought was super cool. That enchanted but I'm sitting on the patio and this British dude, looking like fucking like Monty Roberts, came up to me. Yeah. I'm not joking when I say he looks like Monty Roberts. I don't like British people, so I don't know. I don't expect you to know who Monty Roberts is. Monty Roberts is a horse whisperer. Professor Fink! He's like a really well known uh, horse trainer. But yeah. Uh, he looked like him. He had a cocksucker hat on and everything. Oh. 
when he was drunk, and he just. How really odd! Took that attitude. Like, he didn't really Why would someone have conjured that anything? enchanted stone here? But he wouldn't leave and me alone. Yeah, it? yeah. Well, Irish. What I don't room? know if Irish is British but or not. I don't see anything. Like I said, it's all the same. There's that glow that again, the like the glow on the porky container. Yeah, I know. Oh, them fighting words. You gonna walk me in the garden? Where the are we? <laughs> is I Merlin like it. God or I'm, something? I'm gonna look it up. Is Merlin a character in fucking Harry Potter? <laughs> Harry Potter. Alright, so copy. Okay, yeah. This famous wizard of all the time. Actually, Penn Jillette should be on there. <laughs> hello? Oh, I thought you said hello to a book or something. Uh, Chris Angel. Chris Angel is most popular. <clears throat> He's a muggle. Boring book. <clears throat> Are they even out of bank? I just pictured like a super Harry Potter fan with him. <laughs> he was sleeping and they woke him up. Uh, just a moment. Yeah, I, I've never really been a part of a fandom, so I can't fucking relate to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of myself. So anytime I take a shit or like wake up from a nap, welcome to Gringotts my own Wizarding Bank. Yeah, I'm like, woo! I cry Good a little bit. Number twelve, I presume. Mm -hmm. Good coke can today. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. No diarrhea. The key. Mm hmm. The wife's porky. Oh yes, of course. Your wife's porky. I want to use porky. <laughs> I keep hearing. I don't care. Porky. I'd like to use your wife's porky. Stay close. <laughs> her hole. I'd like to put it in her hole. Oh, we're going to the bank. Yeah, we're in the bank. Okay. Because I was like, why does it feel like the need to say Goblin Banker you. if he isn't a banker at this moment? You know, like you could just say like he's a goblin. <laughs> keep your hands inside the cart. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> magic. He can just repair his shit. Repair. Hundreds of Hundreds. In oh, fact, God. you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just you guys aren't even playing. Play. The vaults you see now are moving here. A private entrance is at the back. At least the other guy's like facing towards you. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such oh, a service. Oh, but normal roller coasters don't. I'm not even sitting there. They're not even running. You won't take a breath. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> I mean, it's gyroscopically stable, but I don't want to hang on to nothing. It's a security <laughs> measure. Experienced the thief's downfall yeah. before, have you? These are the lower levels that we're passing now. How deep are we going? I think there are a lot of number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four well, centuries ago. Well, it's to go up and up and up and up and up and up and down. It's about height. It's not about We've quite getting your shit to go. Awful. I can't. I pass out. I pass out if you blow on me too hard. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> Vault number. On your way. Of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. 
bomb in the back. Here we are. <sighs> what do you fucking do? Doesn't make it very difficult, does it? No. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Your in there. What do you suppose we should be looking oh, yeah. for? I'm not sure. Oh. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Then say I'm out of there. He Let warned me you about think. keeping your hands and feet inside there the fucking thing, but he didn't warn you about here. what he's gonna do now. Mm. Revelia, or at perhaps. least tell you why. Like I'm sure there's a reason. Yes, like, a hey, revealing charm. There's shit on the other side of that no door. Like I gotta lock present. this door. No, this Let's see what we're missing, shall we? So. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm focus. saying. Those instructions are there for a reason. They might be reasonable, and he could have told y'all those reasons. I just hate it when people are like. Uh, this is the rule. Like, okay, why? I don't have to tell you why. Okay, then I'm not gonna follow it. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer it. and try again. You didn't see anything. Is he talking about, like, the mist that was over the door? A oh. Door. Uh -oh. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the pork key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. People don't Lead really hold each other's hands this bad when they're, like, doing shit. Like, oh, this must be it. Let's go. <laughs> I can tell this game's gonna be way longer. Lumos! Mm -hmm. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yes. Gringotts. 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 I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. But on the floor. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? It's written like I can't see what the fuck is going on. I no, see some yeah. sort of statue, <laughs> like, this is for a blind only as a reflection in the play. floor. Also, his voice acting is very. Uh, Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. This is a quick time event, guys. Oh, 
five more seconds. Let's check and see if your game froze. Nope, didn't freeze. <laughs> what a quick time. He said, Repero. I don't want to fight him. He's just like breaking him. Quick smart. It looked like he's posting with it and he exploded with your wand. This doesn't look bad though. This actually kind of like the combat looks looks like uh, uh, Elden Ring. Like this actually looks really fucking good. Is it fun? Yeah. That's the only thing I've heard people say is it's kind of repetitive when it comes to the combat, but. Yeah, play differently. It gave you all the options. You know. Yeah, this actually looks fucking really good. Repairo. Well, that's how magic works. Stay close. <laughs> Professor! Yeah. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? Yeah, the bad this ones are powerful good. enough that they can just think out, you know, not out loud. Out of respect. Think to themselves. It's out of respect. What if it is? What if it's like, you should know what I'm about to do before I do it? Like, I bet it'd be confusing as hell if you were a magic user and you had another magic user and you weren't in constant communication. It's you'd probably like break some shit. Big ass server of what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. All right. Where oh. am I supposed to go? <laughs> What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. This is just way too slow paced. Like, I, I feel like we should, yeah. we should be somewhere else now, you know, maybe. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Emilio. Lumos. Hey, Emilio. They look like they're about to shoot at you. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of there. Lumos.
There you are. He's behind How did thing. you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. It so much when people compare themselves to like an angry wolf. Whoa. Says you are not making us live in Water fear. You're really starting to piss us off, and it's Perhaps a bunch of well. sneaky wolves with their teeth gnashing. The path we've created okay. may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Somebody else called it. Is there a final idea? Yeah, you're right. Don't talk. <laughs> were they drinking out of it? That's what you're seeing. It looked like your, your character's lips were like... surrounded them. Yes, sir. It. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never... Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in... I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Whoa. Whoa! Did you know you can just dunk a bug in water and the horsehair worms, worms will come out? You saw that? Yeah. Awesome. Did you? Yeah, I did. I did. But did you read the top, the top comment? This particular genus has, uh, it, they use grasshoppers and crickets as their host. The infection acts on the infected host's brain. This causes the host insect to seek water and drown itself. Thus, returning the nem nematorph, or nematomorph, to water. So as soon as you dunk a little bug in water, those horsehair worms are gonna fucking explode. I think most of the horsehair worm, uh, like, extractions that I've seen, the animal's wet. There's like little bits of water around. Oh god, I hate these fucking insects. 
so much. I guess it's not an insect, it's well, an invertebrate, isn't it? The, the mantis <laughs> is like attacking it as it's coming out. Yeah, of I, would, I would have tried to keep it from doing that. Like, hey, who knows right. what kind of eggs it's about to put Find back into her. its body. I've never seen so powerful so a goblin. I do have a powerful desire to get into water. Like, it's all of life's things. Totally all of life's unaffected by my magic. Face of God. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Forbidden forest? It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I think it would be cuter if you like stag Hogwarts in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a sneak in there or whatever, so that means that you can see That bird would have died. <laughs> yeah, that bird would have fell out the sky so fucking quick. Oh, shit. It, 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 as soon as it touched that smoke, it would have went, oh, fucking die bomb. If I could have brought smoke with the bomb, it's fine, so. Yeah, yeah. That means it's got smoke all over its feathers. It's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, it HPV pig. Put it down, Nico. Genital warts legacy. The hog has warts. Dude. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, what? The hog has warts? No, I'm a dumbass, and I just looked at a spoiler. Oh, good. We haven't uh, missed the sorting ceremony. No, I don't give a fuck about this I game. I've never seen the I'm Queen no in Valheim. Expert, but and I just took a peek at the Queen in Valheim. She's pretty fucking cool looking. You've no. already seen her? Yeah. I need to study this lock as soon animal? as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. <laughs> they need to know oh, what happened to George and the Lord of Ranrock. For the moment, Ranrock. I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Is this a problem for you yet? I have a <clears throat> No? Oh, it's, uh, Chris Tucker. What? Simon Pegg. Really? Oh. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to Ooh, meet why is that so? the headmaster. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Mm. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications. Bro, what? You got smashed it by a dragon. Just tell enough. them that you got smashed Goblins. by a dragon. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Maybe people like this are like if they know lucky, how magic works, and they're like, why didn't you, you just fucking repair it? Or did shit. You could have zimzammed out of there. <laughs> There's no excuses. You I'll guys just touch. wanted to have fun. And that's why some of the wizards that actually do keep themselves out of fucking trouble and just repair everything have no patience for these children. <laughs> we have spells to make like And you don't use them. You keep doing things the hard way. <laughs> Professor Weasley! Maga! One more to be sorted. Let it sort for you. Look at all these Harry Potters. Welcome. <laughs> You're just in time. Have a seat. That's <laughs> That shackle bird. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions, certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much so can be gleaned America by having an adventurous okay. spirit. <laughs> but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. 
a certain sense of... Mm, what is it? <laughs> the next one looks so cute. His little barnyard apron. <laughs> Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important oh to go God. after what you want from life. Oh, so. mm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. She's gonna cheat on her with her dad. Eagerness <laughs> for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Did you say less? I got Slytherin. I knew you were gonna get Slytherin. Slytherin's my favorite. Slytherin that puss. You belong in Slytherin are the ones that Slytherin. are never in fucking trouble because they know how to use the goddamn magic for shit. Slytherin. Slytherin really is my Actually, no, I take that back. Ravenclaw's my favorite. Ravenclaw's yeah. Ravenclaw's a good fucking thing. Yeah, it goes, it goes Ravenclaw, then Slytherin. Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, then Gryffindor. <laughs> Fuck Gryffindor. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> Due to the, the unfortunate that injury to make on the pitch so in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has yeah. been cancelled. Hufflepuff they, they create is problems so they can fix them. Hufflepuff is just uh, <laughs> Enough! Yeah, Hufflepuff is rabbit troop. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. <laughs> you are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Simon I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I'm here for the entrance. It's, it's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? She's I shall Weasley? see to it, sir. Where's the red hair? As I was saying, I I'm don't Professor Weasley. Well. Pleased to meet you. What, but nice wouldn't it, didn't well, it say Professor. in the book that all the Weasleys have red hair? As deputy head, mistress, it is my distinct it's honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. They could have tried to, yeah, no. you know. Everything's red in this fucking room. That's what they're called. Everything's brown. brown. It's quite brown uncommon just be for a student to begin brown. as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge. Like, her hair should be orange. I'm sure you're up for. If they... I you can be quite resourceful. Yeah, I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. Hey, In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct Good password. Man. Aspiration. Hermione's supposed to be Very well. Hermione, but no one cared. <laughs> Hermione. Aspiration. That was another thing that bothered me about the book. I'm not gonna try to like mentally try to like pronounce these words and shit. Well, I'm I. At any time I see now, the name of the word, I skip over sleep. it. I don't want to skip over parts of a fucking of book. Tomorrow. I shall be the back in the morning to collect I'm you sure for a your lot of fucking people class. skipped major parts of that book. Thank you, Professor All Weasley. Anyway. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. It's literally just gibberish. Like, sleep well. Or the or the singing and like the Hobbit. Oh, God. Pages of people singing. Mm-hmm. But a name seems like so much more gone. important because you're gonna see it all Let's the time. To the She's like one of the main people in the fucking in the Her franchise. Like, Hermwan, I think. Hermwan. Hermwan. Is there an FOB slider? <laughs> hey, Jamie, can you pull up the FOB slider? Ray tracing reflections. I don't even know if I can use reflections. I suppose some introductions are in order. Lumos, 
Hey everyone. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Professor Figg and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. That's water? I thought it was like a ghostly mist. Well, it hardly is making any sound at all. I'm sorry, but water... Okay. What does this mean, though? <laughs> what, the fuck? what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, it came back. It came back. Yeah, it's the door. I pushed through it, but it didn't load the rest of the shit. Okay. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> All right. Open world, though, right? Yeah. I'm going to say it again. Open world, though, right? It still has training wheels on it like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. How long have you been playing? Uh, Hour? Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to open world it at this point. The dude at the beginning was I so fucking slow at talking, you know what you're just supposed uh, to do. <laughs> oh. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new. Not everyone has a minute. Yeah. Professor Figgum. It was nice. Jesus. Not sure what I did to deserve that. Uh, might want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move bare, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. I have brooms. I should have brooms on me now. I see, that was my first thought, but I was like, you're being driven Perhaps to the Professor school, Fink's and Harry Potter didn't get his broom until he was at the help. school for a little Precisely. while, you know? Perhaps one so of these know, days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Okay, Speaking so of which, I'd like to right. get in some time on my broom I, before I don't, classes. I didn't know that... I don't know. Do adults even use brooms in Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Why is there a skeleton in a chance That's a dog. That's not morbid and creepy at all. Reminds me of uh, Return of the Living Dead. That bisected dog model that came back to life. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Blind? I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a yeah, dragon attack like, on route. You know, I'm sure. Reparo. How horrible. Yeah. I can only imagine. 
Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure His was name is Autumn, Ominous. Don't be a stranger. Ominous. Yeah. All right. Is the new He's probably not Slytherin blind. <laughs> Professor right. Weasley's He's waiting for you just by the stairs. Wait, is that the Ripley's Believe It or Not monkey that was attached to a fish? It's the Ripley's Believe It or Not monkey that was attached to a fish. It's a mermaid. All right. Everyone knows you can't be a So why is Slytherin so expensive on the bad guys? The skulls. These are straight skulls. Human skulls. I mean, technically Hogwarts should have a massive catacomb underneath it. That plant looks really nice. Oh, I thought it was reacting to your... No, it, it looks like it's got, like, the heat wave things. Some of this stuff is really nice looking. Shoot him. Nothing. You're about to leave your dormitory. <laughs> morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to I take full cool advantage of this exceptionally the valuable the book resource. Hand, flew all over the room. So here's, a, here's a cool wizard book. And Thank like, you, it Professor. Opens up all the pages what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? I'm like, well, now it's really... Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. No way. Bird man. Clever, isn't it? Lumos. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Timing. Yeah. Perfect 
opportunity to show you how to use flute names to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. <laughs> the beached whale skeleton. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost Lumos. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Her hair is not red. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our Her King's Cross Station, is. so to speak. Yes. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding you. We did take a bit. Oh. Mm. No, I Good agree. Luck. In an open world Shut game, the there is up. never this much fucking dialogue. Shut the fuck up. For real. My God. All right, so I'm not watching the movie. I'm playing the game. I hate it when they fucking put too much dialogue in any goddamn thing. That's kind of cool. Like I'm the only one that's allowed to talk this goddamn much. That is super cool. It'd be cool if it noticed that you were looking at it and it looked at you and said, "So." <laughs> yeah, like Job of the Hut. Ooga ma puka puka wizard. Ooga ma puka puka wizard. <laughs> it's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross. Did I hear you and I was Professor? Hoping our paths would cross. Is that the she caught me character? off guard. I didn't tell. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. Dumbledore. And she may feel obliged to share Dumbledore. details with the headmaster Dumbledore. that would be better left between us. Understood. Good. Now, happily, you have the benefit of an exception. Speaking of, why don't I show unfold it and have a look? There's something interesting to do. Oh my god. I, w I would love to go to a class or something. I thought that's what you were supposed to be doing, was heading oh. toward it. So. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. Yep. Now, sounds that's like you'll enjoy, Mr. I shall reach for now. I wish they're dismissive like they were in the movies, like, get to class, you little piece of shit. What are you doing out here? Yeah. It's like, at Hogwarts, getting your education is literally like the third thing on their list. Of like shit that they need you to take care of. Like I've heard that most of this game consists of like. Oh, the loading screen for the door. Okay, okay. What? The door wouldn't open. I'm like, what the fuck? There's loading screens at the door instead of when you go through the door. That looks really good. This is, this is game. Yeah, it's just janky oh, and man. full of fucking dialogue. Do you have like, Lumos. scheduled classing or classes or like do you know where to go? Yeah, uh, Jesus. This motherfucker. Come now, Annabelle. 
Professors, fucking crazy. <laughs> Run around in school. I'm just a normal kitty. Wow. wow. Professor Pervert. <laughs> That's like a whole part of it. Yeah, yeah some of them have to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Yeah, ominous. The names. I'm Professor Breakfast. What? <laughs> Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Is this your love interest? Drag it across the thing? No. Well, you hold space and you point what direction. Akio. Okay. Well, but the thing is, that was like the first one. They could get that crazy. That is not bad. <laughs> I haven't got it. You are Holy a kid. swift yeah. learner. Oh my god. I see a lot of potential. You and Evan are like so <laughs> like <laughs> like it's been that way for the past like week. Keep at it. What was it that you he said the other day that you had, like just said? Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, oh, no, as you all seem to have Alex the basics you, down, and it like, is an exceptionally lovely and day, and I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Now I want to watch After me! America. The clairvoyant chick. I'm sensing that you're making him feel uncomfortable. Is that the whale you were talking Oh, yeah. She's like the best character, because she's not fucking clairvoyant at all, but she just keeps saying obvious yeah. ass shit. <sighs> <laughs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? A lot of so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? 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 Balls in your I don't remember. The big ass balls. Like they looked like they were the size of Very Edison simply, ball. cast Akio like on one weird. of the spheres and relinquish your charm. Attack you at a possible moment. That's it. <laughs> Excellent control there. 
<laughs> Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Really to it. Does, it? Oh, geez, it sounds like uh, like there we go. Jimmy, Jimmy's turn. I'm Jimmy. <laughs> I'm Jimmy. That's it. Here we go. Fuck. That's it. <laughs> yeah, be a little bitch. Oh, well, okay. Brilliant! I know. The balls. Yeah, be a big bitch. Big bitch time. Big, big bitch. Big, 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 big bitch. My three big bitch. My three big bitch. Oh, that's score. stupid. <laughs> I want to see the side of that. Uh, oh, no. A perfect score. My goodness. <laughs> Let never us seen make this a uh, bit more yeah, interesting, hog shall we? Hog shit. Hog shit. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. We've never seen Mr. Montgomery Ward. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. She sounds like a grown woman. Let us see this. <laughs> Balls. Splendid. Ooh. Becoming interesting all of a sudden, game. Jesus Christ. Yeah. First Even though it was a dumb game. Awful. Pull the ball. Yeah, of push things it. on the way out. Why are you standing forever. like that? Good finish. game back there. You look at your I must fighter. admit, I think I underestimated it's you. Took me more. weeks <laughs> to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Yeah, she, treats, uh, she teaches divination. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. 
Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio. A word, elements, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exist. exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Goblin Professor. Metal is real. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai all is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Dale. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. Wow, thanks, you thanks. certainly yeah. seem to hold your own in charms. I don't care what they say about you. Hi. Thank you, but it really wasn't out. all that challenging. Yeah. My brother William like would this. tell you not to be oh, so humble well, and to trust yeah. your abilities. <laughs> then again, he tends oh, yeah, to be a bit overconfident in his. Tired of well, better see to my charms out. homework. It won't I get find Professor very oh, a bit more challenging than you do. The forest with less features. Oh, the forest was already kind of <laughs> shitty. Oh, oh, come on, man. Oh, crouch jump. I'm just kidding. That is misaligned. What? Yes, very badly. Weird. <laughs> what a bunch of chungus says. Wait, how is that aligned? Those down there are aligned, but that's not aligned. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm. Fucking Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hog penis. <laughs> Funny, you can tell they match uh, assets together. It's just this, but with that on top of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they just mishmashed some shit together, which I'm, you know, I love. <laughs> If you got if you got enough assets to do it with, why not? If you can make it look totally different than the original asset. That tapestry is fucking sick. I hang it up. You could You could Wait, she's gone? Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe you made her Oh, yeah, they did a bit. Yeah, jump on it. Oh. <laughs> you didn't really push me. Uh. <laughs> it's a little too scoop. How'd you get that in your hand? Uh oh. Hogsmeade is the only thing. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be Ooh. included. <laughs> Go to class. Is that all you've got? Oh, 
Tribuso! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of Pull them up real quick and also probably destroy their pride. Now. Let's practice what we've <laughs> just learned, starting with something small. I knew they were going to get more complicated. Oh, oh. Levioso! Now, let's try something a little larger. That's cheap, isn't it? That's a guy wearing green, bro. That's kind of fucked up. What? Why? Did you sliver in you? I heard some guys call me green sleeves in the hallway. Let us begin with a basic cast. Basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Oh, yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised oh, opponent is a weak opponent. As a master poet, so hard to be So, now, well done. Start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Fuck him up, Dilby. This should be easy. Protego. Is any in your same house? Why is this in the good? Levioso. Good form. I know. Let's just say I'm a quick Not learner. bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Right? Points to Slytherin. I know. Thank you, Professor Heck. <laughs> Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Her hands are Perhaps tiny. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, right. well done today. I shall reach out oh, soon with additional yeah, assignments. All yeah. oh, right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Let me see. Nice work. I enjoyed that. 
Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky no, I held you back. Not fair enough. People you owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know. That's what. That's why I hope people spread the word about like pirated games and better performances. You might be a perfect fit for a certain unsanctioned duel organization. On highest quality, and it's running fine. Everyone's been like, "Oh, this one's like shit." It's running great. It's running fabulously. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you till next time. You know what I just realized? So you know how turfs are like mainly concerned about bathrooms? They should just make a turf bathroom. Just a separate bathroom for turfs. The other bathroom will be it'll be unisex turfs. <laughs> I agree. I don't even want to that. And that's mainly for like parents with kids. Like it's just just imagine, just imagine you're a single father. And you have a three year old daughter. Do you know which bathroom to take her to? Your bathroom. No, it's disgusting in there. It is so nasty in the men's room. Have you ever been in the woman's room? I can tell you it doesn't smell like piss. As soon as you walk in, you're not hit well, in the face with piss. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same bitch that was in the hall earlier that you jumped over. Ooh! Oh, I thought it was an ashtray full of cigarettes. He's an ashtray full of cigarettes. Like you know how some people just use a tin box as an ashtray? Yeah. Uh, that's what it looked like. Some redneck shit. Redneck <laughs> Yeah. Oh. It'd be cool if they just like fuck you up if you do it enough. Like they just come yeah. out fucking swinging at you. Like that'd be so cool. Like oh, better not do that too much. I'm surprised you can fire off your uh, weapon inside the school. Anyway, there's a kitty over to your left. Oh. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> it won't fly away though. Which is weird, because it's Lumos. Isn't it an owl? Is it? Yeah, it's an owl. It's not highlights, like I should be able to hit it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it'll come up later. Like that robot with the face that was flipping. On Atomic Heart. Oh. <laughs> what about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Is he a slave? Oh, excuse, Deke. Slavery is so cool in Harry Potter. I love slavery. Ah! It's like a really are. prominent part of the society. I want slaves because they're lesser, you know? I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I hope. A view and Professor. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> that is a lot of talking. Like, I wonder how many other people skip it. Like, I just want to explore. I just want to go look around, please. God. Looks like Umbudu is having trouble with some forest. Oh, it's a trap on it. Yeah, they just opened it again. Oh, nice to see you, you my young shit. friend. Lumos. I'm bored. 
Excellent. Vandalize. Some shit. Come on. Let me <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Oh, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As a number of your professors, I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we yeah. will have you casting Rapero so in no time. <laughs> I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Yeah, I would say maybe about 15 minutes. The beginning was the brunt of it. Now it's... I mean, if you count you just fucking around and shooting little lasers at owls and shit as gameplay. I'll give you 20 this minutes. Is the <laughs> Where's the parry <sighs> Just not everything. Use it on Baltimore. It'll fix his attitude. I know, right? If you don't want to see me dancing with somebody, we're flying pages. Try to Spells and you are being a little flip. Let him help. Let him play. He's a little brother. Let him play. Akio. Let him play. To give you first hand good luck, and I shall Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? A flying page must be around here somewhere. Preliminary time. I Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. like to practice mending Prepare. something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. 
it allegedly symbolized the outbreak. Prepare them. Something quite satisfying about using the mending charm, isn't there? Let me see. Akio. Prepare them. What? 